Hello. Hello. Sorry, I was deleting. Right. <laughs> cards first. Happy Halloween. It's from, actually, do, do we want to open the cards? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't actually Let's got. Let's flick through the magazine. We haven't actually got this set though. Ah. So yes. we don't think. Are you going to be all like sensible and use some scissors? No, it's all a damaged magazine. I do hate the fact that they. Oh, I just cut the back of cards. I hate the fact that they have to like take things on so like securely like this. Yeah, but the problem is people just steal the cards. I know, but it just. You're right. It just damages the magazine, doesn't it? I know. Like if you tore that off right now, you'd probably rip off. What's that? It's not a Pikachu, is it? It's it's like a badly drawn Pikachu. Yeah, it's like hard. Some sort of mimic Pokemon in it. Yeah. Whatever that is, anyway. You'd like rip his face off. Yeah, do you want to open the first set of cards? Uh, I don't know. I was going to flick through the magazine. No, okay. Or do you want to open the cards first? I can't get them without potentially having my wrist sliced anyway. So. That's right. I'm my first leader. That's good. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> yes. Here's some first aid of slit your wrist. Should I open these then? Yeah, go on. Bouncy ball! Oh, that's a bit disappointing. That's tiny! I thought it was going to be a little that bit bigger. It also doesn't really look like a Pokeball. Does it? Oh, no, it is. It's a quick ball. Oh, it does. Sorry, I was looking at the back. Yeah, watch, watch, watch. It's a quick ball. Okay, oh, quick that is bounce. terrible. That isn't very bouncy. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, no. It's not a... It's a rubber. Is it? It's actually a rubber. As in... As the Americans would say, an eraser. Yeah. It comes apart as yeah. well. That's like some, is it, where's the, there's a weird shop you can buy loads of stationery from for extortionate prices. Oh. And they do things like that. You can put them together. No, you can put it into your pencil. Hence the little hole. Yeah, but they have things like that that you can like, stationery rubbers that you assemble and disassemble. Uh. Anyway, shall I open these then or magazine first? Oh yeah, go on, open it up. As we mentioned in a previous episode, while it does say you get two... Oh, this is not opening very well at all. It's stuck on my fingers. Um, it says like that you get two... Two packs, yeah? But you don't really. You don't get full packs. A standard pack's like ten cards. <coughs> is that exciting? <laughs> okay, and these are from Sword and Shield Evolving Sky. Evolving Skies? Really? Shiny, shiny. That looks like a recycled image. Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Yeah, Hippopotas. Is it? Again, I hate it when they do that. Hippo Pokemon. Hippo Pokemon. Why? I don't know. Um, this Pokemon is active during the day and passes the cold desert nights burrowed snugly. snugly into the sand ok it's a shiny basic though it is, it's shiny I know you said the picture's boring but I, I, like, tapped, the, I, mean it, I like the oh, shiny effect go away, go away Eevee. <laughs> evolution Pokemon yay I still want to see though an evolved normal Eevee just even bigger they and fluffier. They haven't designed one yet, have they? No. I think it'd be extra poofy. I think so, yeah. There's some really good um, images on Reddit that someone did. I kind of hope it'd look sort of like a chow. Um, thanks to the unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Or maybe more like a Tibetan Mastiff. It's kind of, imagine that, just fluffier and bigger. The, 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 a Tibetan Mastiff. The guy who's or girl, I'm not sure what gender they are on Reddit. They um they've done like evolutions of the of Eevee, but ones which aren't already there. And it's really so cool. they're not official. No. Pokemon, they just no no. Ooh, Ooh, bat. bat! That's what I've got following me around on Pokemon Go at the minute. It's a bat Pokemon again. I cannot read that. But too for dark. a while, I kept looking at this, and you know when you look at something and you your brain interprets it one way, and I know it's incorrect, but my brain kept interpreting it like a cyclops, that's, like its nose, nose was its eye, and I was like, why has it got a weird shaped pupil? You're gonna have to read it. I'm I'm getting there. I'm just telling people how my brain misinterpreted it. Ah. Anyway, I think I think these ziggy zaggy bits here are meant to be like where the eye should be. That Pokemon. It emits ultrasonic waves as it flutters about, searching for its prey. 
bug Pokemon. Well, that's pretty much a bat. <laughs> Do I have to put it behind the Eevee? Yep, Eevee goes want. first. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Shiny, shiny, Timpole. Tadpole Pokemon. It... Uh, and I'm trying to read. It uses sound waves to communicate with others of its kind. People and other Pokemon species can't hear its cries of warning. Ooh. Warning! Warning! Ready? Yep. Yeah. dot. Acorn Pokemon. Again. Acorns do, ex no, acorns do exist in Pokemon. But it's still very imaginative. Uh, it attaches itself to a tree branch using the top of its head. Strong winds can sometimes make it fall. I think it was in Diamond, Pokemon Diamond, where you could... You got the acorns. Like you'd pick up acorns from acorn trees. And then you could give them to a guy to craft them into Pokeballs. That would just start catching certain types of Pokemon. I actually really like that mechanic. Hmm. Swablu. That's actually quite a nice picture of Swablu. Mm. I think the other ones we've had, it looks a bit... I don't know. Weird. That is a bit overpowered. Flip a coin if tails this attack does nothing. Hmm. Mm. But 30, if, you do, if you're lucky... Yeah, but you've only got 50-50 chance. If you're lucky. Cotton bird Pokemon. It constantly grooms its cotton-like wing. It takes a shower to clean itself if it becomes dirty. Mm. Just a bird then, innit? Mm. <laughs> right, magazine. Halloween! Ready? Yeah. Pikachu's dressed I really do like that Gengar. I think we should do that on our pumpkin this year. Okay. Oh, Eevee sticker. <laughs> I don't care about the rest. This will look into your... and read the... of your heart if it finds there it promptly away. You know um, Cards Against Humanity? You could do that with that, couldn't you? I guess the stickers for that then. No, I'm fairly certain. Yeah. Like, this demon will look into your soul and read and read the desires of your heart. If it finds love, hate, there it will promptly cuddle you. I do like that. Okay, so there's the Gengar one and there's a Pikachu one. I think we should photocopy the page so we don't destroy the magazine. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, win 360 Pokemon trading cards. It's a Halloween special, right? Mm -hmm. And the only stuff that's Halloween based is the beginning. It's the pumpkin carver. That's my second favourite Pokemon. Really? Eevee! The ultimate Eevee because Oh, don't look, don't look. I'm going to ask you the questions. How tall is Eevee? 2.5 metres, 0.1 metre, 1.3 metres or 0.3 metres? Oh, Eevee's really small. It's not 30 centimetres. Oh, is it 30 centimetres? Try to remember the cartoon. That'd be a foot high. I know. I th I'll go 30 centimetres. I think, I think that's right. Uh, okay. Ash has an Eevee in his Pokemon collection. True or false? At what point? Ever. I don't know. I think <laughs> false, actually, on that one. Which of the types on your sticker sheet is Eevee least effective against? Oh, we have to look at the sticker sheet. So it's psychic, fighting, or ghost? I think it's psychic. Because it's, it's normal. Which of these is the name of Eevee's grass type evolution? Leafeon. Leafeon, Grassion, or Vineon? Leafeon. Using your stickers, place the name of a move Eevee can perform below. Uh, quick attack. That's the options. Earthquake and takedown. Takedown. Which of the Pokemon on your sticker sheet would be strongest against Eevee in battle? So it would be stronger? Uh, no. Uh, would be strongest against Eevee. So which one would beat Eevee? I think it's that one. That one? Do you know its name? I don't remember. No, neither do I. Agron, uh, Agron or something. Which of these Eevee evolutions is an ice-type Pokemon? That one. Yeah, that's water and that's psychic. Mm-hmm. What type of Eevee 
And what type is EV? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, I guess that's right. Okay, so turn to page 35 for your answers. Okay, so where are the answers? Not oh, answers, here we go. So, D? Yeah, I've yeah. got that right. What was the next one you said? False? Uh, yeah, I said false. EV doesn't have a. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Three, uh, least effective against, you said. God, I can't remember what the options were. This would have been easier if we'd done this, like, earlier. I think I said psychic. Uh, uh, ghost. Okay. Which of these is the name of Evie's quest type on. evolution? I um, know, oh that's right. Correct. Take down. Take down, you say, for number yeah. five? Yep, take down. Number six, which one was it? I said, is it Agron or that one? But if uh, it's... That one with horns, yeah? Yeah. Uh, correct. And it is Agron. Seven, which of these is ice? No, you that said one. that one, so that's B. Number seven. Yep, B, Glaceon. And eight, what Normal. type is EV? Normal. Correct. Yay. So you only got one incorrect answer on EV. Mm -hmm. So you missed the... You missed the point of the answers. You had one incorrect. So you had one. In, you're a top trainer. Wow, you definitely won this battle. When it comes to Evie, you know. I don't know almost everything. I presume it says he's turned the page. Halloween. Cool combo. Oh, that's quite cool. We could always hang it up in the window downstairs. <laughs> Sorry, let's frame it and get it out every Halloween. What's this? Make Halloween bunting. bunting. <gasps> it's like all our Halloween sorted forevermore. <laughs> Use the smaller pictures to add variety between the bigger pieces of bunting. You're gonna have like these things I've on the back. I've actually got to say, yeah, it's so you, you got the generically boring stuff. But then they actually have gone like a little bit, gone out of their way to Halloween stuff. Mm. But you, I'd expect more Halloweeny theme in here. Feels a little unHalloweeny in places. Mm. And more stickers. Ah! I haven't seen my favourite Pokemon in here at all, though. Oh, we're off camera. There we go. Oh, fair. I'm pointing at that. <laughs> Maybe we should do that with our pumpkin. I've got to say, I am impressed by this. Ghastly. That is quite cool. Yeah. I am impressed. Well done. And we got a shiny per pack, so we had one in three shinies. Did we get a shiny per pack? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, happy Halloween. Thanks for watching. Happy Bye. Halloween.